your balls. Never spray fragrance on your balls. What's up, gentlemen? So today, a little good old-fashioned fragrance wearing tutorial. I'm going to go over some things that you should never do, some places you should never spray, and some ways for you to make your projection better, stronger, and last longer. And real quick, guys, before we get started, I just want to tell you about something that I'm super excited about. Scentbird, today's video sponsor, now has Creed Aventus. It's called Saks Select, where basically Scentbird and Saks Fifth Avenue have teamed up and curated a collection of luxury fragrances that you as a Scentbird subscriber can actually try. And one of the ones is actually Creed Aventus, my all-time favorite compliment killing fragrance. Scentbird, guys, I've talked about them a gazillion times because they are my favorite because I love trying different fragrances without buying a big bottle and knowing whether or not I love it or not. All right, so the way that it works, guys, there's the link down below to go sign up. When you sign up, use the code m 6 You're going to get 55% off your first month. I'll tell you about the price in a second, which is insane. Anyway, you go on and you basically get to build a fragrance queue where once a month they're going to send you a fragrance that you selected and the amount that they send is insane, right? It's a ton. It's like 120 squirts. Basically, it's like a month worth, but depending on how much you actually wear or how much you use it, you can actually build a fragrance collection, which is something that I love. But if you're a fragrance slut like I am and want to try a lot, then you can actually upgrade and get more than just one fragrance a month. This month, I got Creed Aventus. I got American Leather by Memo Paris, and I also got the Harmonist Magnetic Wood. And the cool thing, guys, is you get these little cards that talks about the various notes and all of the details about the fragrance that you're actually checking out. Guys, I'm going to link to the three fragrances that I tried this month. I'm going to link to them down below. They are amazing. And guys, the price, ready? Are you ready? Under $17 a month, you get to try a new designer fragrance. And they've got all the badass brands like Gucci, Prada, Versace, but they also have some other boutique brands. And that's one of the things that I love exploring because you never know when you're going to stumble upon something that you've heard of or you've never heard of that you absolutely love. And that's Spicy Senorita is going to be like, damn, you smell sexy. Let's make out. If you're ready to take your fragrance game to the next level and smell better than all the other dudes out there, you got to hit that link down below and use the discount code ALPHAM6. You're going to get your first month of Scentbird for 55% off, which means it's right around like eight freaking dollars. It's a huge no-brainer. And the cool thing with Scentbird, guys, you can cancel or pause anytime, but you're not going to want to because of how amazing you're going to smell. It's also kind of addicting. I look forward every month to getting my Scentbird. I get three because I am a fragrance slut. Gentlemen, hit the link down below. Use the code AlphaM6 to get your first month of Scentbird for 55% off. All right, gentlemen, so now let's get down to business. We're gonna first start with going over the areas of your body that you should never spray a fragrance. Number one is your balls, which we talked about earlier. Your balls, your genitals. This is one of the things that young dudes are like, yo, I'm gonna spray it down there because my balls are a little bit stinky and this is gonna make them smell amazing, right? Wrong. Here's the deal. When your fragrance mixes with your man musk, it totally distorts this fragrance. It also doesn't taste super good. The alcohol doesn't taste super good if somebody would taste it taste it exactly right there right you want somebody to possibly potentially taste them your balls they should always be powder don't spray the fragrance there also your hair i've seen some crazy ass fragrance tutorials and hacks like oh spray it in your hair put it on your comb no why because it's alcohol alcohol in your hair is bad it also gets absorbed and dries out your hair the next place you should never spray fragrance is your wrist now i know what you're thinking you're like yo alpha i thought that was a pulse point it is all right but it's a horrible one. It's the worst one. Why? Because the whole idea behind wearing an incredible fragrance is you want it to project. You want people to smell it, which means you need it up by their face and their nose. If you spray it on your wrist, right? It's down here. How close to their nose is it? Exactly. It's got to stay up. You want that fragrance to be up around their head, which means it should be up around your head. And so for me, the best pulse points are the neck. I'll go one shot, one shot. I'll also go a chest shot, right? A lot of dudes are like, yo, I shouldn't do that, right? Well, wrong. You should do that. I think a body shot is perfect. What's not perfect is the mist method, right? Because what happens, you think, yo, I just, I just, I just dispersed it. No, it's on the floor 
sure. Another pulse point, guys, is up here behind the ear, right? Neck, perfect, right? It's up by your head, it's up by their head. And the whole idea, once again, it's about keeping that fragrance up in order for it to project better, right? Another place you should never spray fragrance is on your armpits. I know it sounds crazy, but there are dudes that I've talked to that are like, yo, I give it a shot under each arm. It's a warm place. The problem is that it gets absorbed and the skin underneath your armpits is very different than the skin on the rest of your body. A few other places you should never spray fragrance, your face, all right? Don't spray it on your face, all right? Once again, it's alcohol. It's gonna dry and your face should be moisturized, hydrated, and sexy. Your feet is another place. I've heard of dudes being like, yo, I'm gonna spray cologne or fragrance in my shoes so that my shoes smell better. Gentlemen, it doesn't work like that, all right? The reason why your shoes stink or your feet stink is because of a bacteria, right? This bacteria is not getting killed by the fragrance. It may mask it temporarily, but ultimately it's still gonna be funky and you just wasted cologne on your feet. Your butt, don't spray cologne on your ass. Also your legs, like pretty much anything below like your chest is pretty much off limits. Guys, there are other products for keeping those areas smelling amazing and they do not include fragrance or cologne or Axe body spray. That should be off limits for everyone. So that's it. Basically, those are the places where you as a dude should never be spraying fragrance because A, you're wasting it or B, it's just not a good spot for the fragrance in order to have it project and smell amazing. Now, in order for it to smell amazing, I'm gonna go over a few other pro tips for your fragrance to be sexier, smell incredible, and project like a rock star. So the first pro tip to make your fragrance smell amazing on you is don't apply your fragrance to dry skin, right? Everybody kind of knows that by now because if it's dry, it's going to actually soak in. The whole idea is that you want your fragrance to sit on top of your skin to be able to project. On the pulse point, it's gonna heat up, boom. Exactly, smelling amazing makeout time. Which is why it's critical that you make sure that your lotion or your body wash or your soap is as mild as possible. All right, I would recommend in terms of lotion, getting something that is fragrance free or unscented. Because this is going to allow your fragrance to be the star of the show, as opposed to having it compete with an overpowering body wash, soap, or lotion. The second tip, guys, is to use Use a little dab of Vaseline over top of your pulse point, all right? On your neck right there, and then apply your fragrance on top of it. The whole idea is that the Vaseline is actually gonna prevent the fragrance from soaking in, because even though you may be moisturized, you're still going to absorb some of the fragrance. But by rocking a small dab of Vaseline on your pulse point, guys, it's actually going to prevent your fragrance from soaking in. It's gonna sit on top of your skin and project literally like a rock star 10 times longer. The next tip, guys, is don't wear too much, right? Everybody knows don't wear too much or else you're gonna stink like ass. Well, the truth is that an overpowering fragrance is just as bad as bad BO, body odor, or farts, because literally people that smell way too pungent in terms of their fragrance are absolutely nauseating and repulsing people around them. Um, the whole idea is you gotta find a sweet spot. Three squirts, in my opinion, is the precise sweet spot, all right? For me, one here, one here, and a chest shot. Now, if the fragrance is not an EDP or a perfume, it's a little bit lower, like a cologne or an eau de toilette, right? Something a little bit weaker, then maybe you wanna go for four squirts for some of the weaker options, guys. If it's a light fragrance, once again, it is going to dissipate a little bit faster, but I would always err on the side of caution. Less is more, you can always reapply later. The next pro tip I'd like to give you is rotate, change it up. All right, you don't wanna be the guy that wears the same fragrance every single day, every single week, every single month for years, right? You wanna smell amazing, and part of that is switching it up and changing it up. A lot of guys will find a fragrance and they'll just kill it. Like, they'll wear it like forever. And they're like, dude, I know that this smells amazing. I've gotten compliments. The problem is, is that people get used to the way that you smell. And if you wanna make sure that they're always like, oh damn, you really smell incredible, you gotta change it up. You gotta switch it up, which is why I love Scentbird so much. It allows you to try and build a fragrance collection without actually having to spend hundreds and thousands and thousands of dollars. A few other pro tips, guys, when it comes to your fragrance, don't spray your fragrance in your bedroom or in your car. That's not a good plan. I know that I used to do that, right? I used to think, oh, I want my bedroom to smell awesome and sexy, and so I'd spray a few spritz. Now, get a scented candle. It's gonna be a lot better, a lot more soft and subtle, and let you be the thing that smells incredible. And your car, just make sure it's clean, all right? You don't wanna do anything that's too over overpowering, including like overpowering air fresheners. It just, like, it just stinks. And the last thing we're gonna talk about real quick is your clothing. Are you gonna mess up your clothing if you spray cologne on it? Well, you could. 
If it's a super delicate fabric, like a nice suit, right, and you have a very high oil content, or it's a very concentrated fragrance, spraying it too close could potentially stain your suit or your fabric, right? But if you're wearing just like a cotton shirt, or you're wearing like a jacket or something, and you want to give yourself a little, a little body shot, a little mist, just to give yourself a little extra sexiness, gentlemen, I say it's totally cool, as long as you're not like super close and you're not like super spraying it on your balls. Guys, don't forget to hit that link down below and check out Scentbird. Make sure to use the code ALPHAM6 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird.